Hi, welcome to Storytime with Fairy Mel. I'm Fairy Mel and I've got a fabulous story especially for a little girl named Gemma. Hi Gemma, your mummy told me how much you enjoy story time with me and she told me how much you would love to hear all my treasures, a book of joy. So here it is, are you ready? All my treasures, a book of joy. And this is another beautiful story by Joe Wittek and it's illustrated by Christine Rusi. Here we go. All my treasures, a book of joy. Today, Grandma gave me a special gift, a beautiful porcelain box. She knows I will take good care of it because I'm a big girl and I will. It's my very own treasure chest and I want to choose the perfect treasure to put inside. Can you see the pictures? What's she got there? It looks like a love heart. Oh, let's have a look. It opens up. Wow. That's a gorgeous treasure chest. Little porcelain box. Let's turn over. But what could that be? Candies? They'll stick to it. Coins? They'll scratch it. And my teddy bear is way too big. He wouldn't fit in there, would he? Let's have a look. Can you see the pictures? Let's have a look. <gasps> a pussy cat? I don't know if he'd fit. Doesn't look big enough for that. I can't fill this box with just anything. I want to fill it with things that are beautiful and colourful and bright. Things that bring me joy. What if I could put all of my very favourite things inside? Things like, hmm, let's have a look. All of these open up, it's just so fun. Love. Oh, who's that? A little baby brother? Have you got a little baby brother, maybe? Who's this? Looks like a little pussy cat hiding in there. What about this one? That looks like a tree, an apple tree. <gasps> What's this? That looks like a teddy bear riding some sort of unicycle or something. That's fun. Jumping in puddles. I love when the rain goes plip plop and my boots go squish squash. Yes, rainy days will go in my treasure box. Would you put rainy days in your treasure box? I don't know. There's the sunshine coming out. That's what we like to see after all the rain that we've had. What about this one? Next into the box, all the bubbles I blow with Lily. We are champion bubble blowers. We blow so many, they fill up the sky like clouds. <gasps> look at all those clouds. What's in here? Let's have a look. We've got some... Um, <gasps> that's me! That's the little girl floating with her balloons. That's you, Gemma. Is that you? Floating up there with your balloons? What's this? It's a little stork delivering a baby. Did you see that movie, Storks? It was really cute. What about this? It's someone on a rocket ship. Cool. My friend's giggles will go into the box too. Yeah, that'd be nice to put your friend's giggles in the box. We play lots of silly games, hopscotch and marbles and animal marching band jamboree. <gasps> Could that all fit in the box? I don't know. Who's that? Is that one of your friends dressed up like an elephant? Cutie. 
Is that you dressed up like a teddy bear? And who's this? One of your other friends, maybe? I can't open that door. Oh, there we go. Well, that might be you. Dressed up like a... What is that? A bunny or a doggy? Maybe. The other day, Lily took her first steps without mum or dad's help. She walked right towards me. Now she can walk around the world. I place this treasured memory in my box. Look at this. She's a star. On Sundays, we do nothing at all except cuddle in a big cosy pile. Me, Lily, Mum, Dad, even our cat Grizzly. I'll keep these lazy mornings in my treasure chest too. That's nice. Ah, nice and cosy, having a sleep in. And I have to add my paper boats, the ones my neighbour Lee and I raced along the river. We folded so many, but each race was a tie. Look, she's snorkeling. It's under here. Oh, hello. Hello. Wow, look at this. I just love the pictures in these books. On a walk with Grandpa, I spotted lots of treasures to add to my chest. Leaves of all colours, a beautiful sunrise and a few acorns too. I'm sure Mr Squirrel won't mind sharing. Let's have a look. It's under there. And what's under there? Hello, cuckoo. And what's under here? This, sometimes these are hard to open. <gasps> the little squirrel. What's under this one? <gasps> A little re reindeer. There is also peace and quiet in my treasure chest. A little world just for me. I float and listen. My breath goes in. Ready? You want to take a big breath in? And out. Blowing like the wind. It makes you feel very calm when you do that. Breathe in and out. It's under here. <gasps> Cupcakes! Yum yum! Oopsie. What's this one? There's a fishy. Wow, this book sure has got a lot of pages to turn, hasn't it? When I open my box and look at my treasures, they sparkle like stars and fill me up with joy. What about you? What about you, Gemma? What's in your treasure chest? Let's have a look. Whiz. Boom. Ding. Zap. Spark. Pop. Wow, there's lots of things in her treasure chest. Twink, twink. And that's the end of the story. What do you have inside your treasure chest? Did you enjoy that, Gemma? I hope that sends you off to sleep with beautiful, happy dreams. Lots of love from me, Fairy Mel. Night night and I'll see you next time on Storytime with Fairy Mel by Mel in a Box.